Now that we have all of this set up, let's go ahead and install Tailwind CSS. Now we essentially want to use Tailwind CSS in order to be able to style our application and make it pretty without having to use CSS files directly. So let's go ahead and move here back to our project folder and let's go ahead and stop here this dev command. And after doing that, go ahead and type the following. So we want to install Tailwind CSS post CSS and also auto prefixer. After installing those packages, let's go ahead and initialize our Tailwind CSS configuration file. And in order to do that, go ahead and run this command. And as you can see, it went ahead and created, first of all, our Tailwind CSS config file and also a post CSS configuration file. With this done, let's go ahead and tell Tailwind CSS exactly where to look for the classes inside of our file. So in order to do that, go ahead and open here the tailwind.config.js file and here inside of the content, let's go ahead and add a string and let's tell exactly where we have all of our templates and that's inside of the templates folder. And then we want it to look for all of our HTML files. So this essentially means that even if our HTML files are nested inside of this folder, it is still going to go ahead, parse through all of those files and then look at the classes that we are using. So it then can, uh, so it can then go ahead and generate the CSS file. Finally, let's go ahead and save this file and then let's go ahead and install concurrently so we can be able to run both of it and Tailwind CSS at the same time by simply running one command. Inside of the project folder, go ahead and type this command, which is going to install concurrently. And then let's move back to our package.json file. And in here, let's go ahead and replace this vid command with the following. So as you can see, we are going to be running concurrently and then we're not only going to be running the vid build command, but also this Tailwind CSS command. And this essentially allows us to specify an input so we want to go ahead in just a second and add our Tailwind CSS configuration to this file, but also the output, which is going to be here inside of our static folder. And the file is also going to be in this.css. And we also want to run this Tailwind CSS command in watch mode. So each time that we have some kind of change happening inside of our template, Tailwind CSS is automatically going to go ahead and rebuild our index.css file. So let's go ahead and save this file. And now we want to go ahead and create our index.css file. So let's go ahead and type in here index.css. And inside of this file, we want to go ahead and paste the following. So add Tailwind base components and also utilities. Then let's go ahead and save this. And finally, if we move back here to our project folder and we now go ahead and run pnpm run dev, as you can see, it not only goes ahead and runs here our vid command, but it also goes ahead and runs Tailwind CSS. And as you can see, we get here a warning that says that at the moment we don't have any kind of content inside our template files. And that's because we haven't specified any kind of classes inside of our index.html file and that's exactly what we want to go ahead and do right now. So let's move back to our editor and inside of the index.html file. First, let's start by adding here this link tag, which essentially allows us to import our index.css file from the static folder. And then let's go ahead and define in here a class. So let's say that we want this to be text5xl so let's go ahead and save this file. And then if we move back here, as you can see, this has gone ahead and rebuilt and we now don't get any kind of warnings. And that's because we are using at least one Tailwind CSS class. And finally, now let's get back to our browser. And if we go ahead and refresh, as you can see, Tailwind CSS was set up and installed correctly.